Assalamu alaikum welcome to pharma and form and today we will discuss what is the dispensing process in pharma in this video we will learn what is the dispensing and how dispensing is carried out what are the prerequisites for the dispensing process and one of the most important question which is the good sequence for dispensing process mean either we should dispense first of all excipients or either we should active pharmaceutical ingredient so why the complete video and if you have not subscribed my channel press the subscribe button so let's start our video what is dispensing in pharma what is dispensing dispensing is also known as weighing and it is the process which is carried out in pharmaceutical industries where we weight all the ingredients according to the process order in simple words the weighing and measuring of all the ingredients including excipients and active pharmaceutical ingredients which are required for manufacturing of a specific batch is known as dispensing process what are the prerequisites for dispensing for dispensing we must have process order availability and release status of materials dispensing area line clearance standard procedure and trained staff so let's discuss one by one what is the process order process order is basically a document which include the quantity of all the ingredients including excipients and apis which are required for a specific batch it also contain lot numbers of all the excipients and apis batch size batch number all these details are mentioned in the process order the next is the availability plus release status basically process order is released when we have a specific quantity of the ingredients and these ingredients are in release status but before dispensing after receiving the process order we check again the availability of all the materials and also check that either all these materials are released from quality control department this activity is done by any erp system or by the sap system the next one is the dispensing area mean we must have a dispensing area to carry out the weighing activities the dispensing area is a classified area and class of the dispensing area depends on the product which we are going to dispense if we want to dispense batches for an area of iso class 8 the class of dispensing area will be iso class 8 mean in case of tablets and capsules but if we want to dispense materials for sterile area which require manufacturing under class a then the classification of dispensing area will also be the class a the next one is that dispensing area must have separate entry for the personal and separate material entry and the next one is the line clearance mean before starting the process of dispensing we must have line clearance procedure if you want to learn all about the line clearance the link of video is given in description you can watch the complete video in a brief description during line clearance we check temperature humidity differential pressure of the dispensing area and we also check the calibration records of the weighing balance in dispensing area we have a laf system mean laminar air flow hood under which all the dispensing activities are carried out the next one is the standard procedure to carry out a dispensing we must have a standard operating procedure or sop for the dispensing process and our all the operator must have the training on this standard operating procedure mean we must have a trained staff to carry out the dispensing activity the next one is the pre dispensing pre dispensing is a very important concept but many pharmaceutical industries do not follow pre dispensing process they simply take the materials for dispensing from the racks and shift it to the dispensing booth and after dispensing the container is shift back to the racks but in pre dispensing area all the material containers 
according to process order are first of all placed in a predefined area which is known as pre dispensing area and we take line clearance where all the materials container mean full and loose so, are verified by the qa and dispensing pharmacist then from these pre dispensing areas the containers are shifted to the dispensing area one by one according to the formulation or process order the benefit of pre dispensing area is the is to eliminate the risk of errors and to ensure the safe dispensing procedure next one is the dispensing procedure mean how dispensing is carried out to carry out the dispensing process first of all we must have a approved the process order we check the availability and release status of all the material then we shift all the material containers according to the process order from racks to the pre dispensing area then we take the line clearance after line clearance the operator shift the container from pre dispensing area to the dispensing area and dispensing pharmacist and quality assurance pharmacist check the identification label on the material container its lot number its retest date expiry date and when all the identifications of container are verified then this container is opened under lf and weighing is carried out in a clean polythene bag we first of all check the tear weight of polythene bag then we attach a label over the polythene bag this label contain information like product name batch number and tear weight net weight gross weight and lot number of the material the operator weigh the material in clean polythene bag using the cleaned ss scoops and when the required quantity is dispensed the weight is verified both quality assurance and dispensing pharmacist when the weighing of a single excipient is completed it is closed with a rubber band or tie clip and then this dispensed material either api or excipient is placed in a container which have a label marked as dispensed material in this and after dispensing a specific material the container of material is sent back to the racks in this way all the materials are weighed one by one according to the process order and placed in the dispensed containers next one is storage of dispensed material when all the materials are dispensed the next stage is to store the dispensed material this dispensed material is stored in a separate storage area which must have a lock and key system and we place all the material of the same batch on the same pallet off the floor and away from the wall mean these must not be along with the wall there must be a distance between the wall and these must not be placed on the floor these must be away the floor mean on the pallets next one is the handing over these dispensed material to the production department or requirement production pharmacist come to receive this dispensed material and this dispensed material is handed over to the production pharmacist after verification and proper code mean entering in the log books we also enter the record of storage of dispensed material in the log books next one is the dispensing sequence this is very critical and most important question and mean first of all we should dispense api or excipient a good dispensing activity is that first of all we must dispense excipients then we must dispense the active pharmaceutical ingredients then flavor and then the color what is the logic i will record a separate detail video on this topic but for a brief overview first of all we must dispense excipients because if we dispense excipient first the particles may remain suspended in the dispensing area and we know that excipients are inert and later on when we dispense the api these excipients will settle down in the container of api so this will not contaminate as critically because excipients are inert and many excipients are used in the different formulations but if we dispense api first and then dispense the excipients then these api particle will remain suspended in the dispensing booth 
and when we will dispense excipients later on the api will settle down in the excipient and may contaminate our excipients and we know that these excipients are used in many different formulations and when this excipient will use in an uh, any other formulation it will results in contamination and serious harm especially in case of the potent drug product so first of all we dispense excipient then api then flavor and at the end colors because color are dispensed at the end because they are very difficult to clean and they stick to the walls and floors and ceiling that is why we dispense colors at the end so it was all about the dispensing process in pharmaceutical industries if you have any question you can ask in the comment box i will provide a link of the article on dispensing process you can read the article and can also visit my website farmandform.com to read more interesting articles and till the next video allah hafiz